Namaste everyone, this is Pooja. Today we are going to talk about United States. Uh... We would talk about what are the different pathways that you could choose from if you are planning to come to United States after you are done with your bachelor's in physiotherapy. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that we are going to do is uh, we are going to look uh, at all our options. Okay, so this is a suggestion. Please do your own research. Okay, every scenario, every person's unique background uh, will have so many possibilities when you're thinking about coming abroad, going to a different country to study, something like that. So please do your research on your end. Uh, make sure that you, uh, you know, uh, do your research according to your unique personalities, your unique situations, your unique education background. Even from where you come, that makes a huge difference. So please do your own research. That's something that I can't uh, focus enough on. Uh, that being said, uh, the first pathway of coming to United States after your bachelor's in physiotherapy is do a, taking a master's program. Okay, so there is MS, uh, master's uh, of science program. Uh, people usually the common program is masters in exercise science this is the most common program that people choose after they are done with their bachelor's in physiotherapy if they're intending to come to united states so it, it, these programs uh, there are other programs similar programs uh, it could be uh, ms in exercise science ms in kinesiology ms in sports training uh, sometimes ms in exercise, uh, athletic training the wordings could be different but pretty much it is masters in exercise science or something similar the, the, the thing that you need to remember here is the first point is that it should be a stem program it's always a good idea to go with a STEM program, STEM is Science, Technology, Engineering, Maths. A STEM program gives you two additional years of OPT. Okay, so let's let's talk a, a little bit about that. So, what happens is if let's say you come to United States, you come to New York to do your masters. Okay, so the masters is a two-year program, right? Now you get one year of OPT. That is, you once you are done with your education, uh, you can get training in United States for one year. Okay. That's that's something that you get with every master's program. OK, but now if it's a STEM program, you get additional two years of OPT. So in total, you will have three years of OPT with your two years of master's program. So that's a good option because United States immigration or even uh, work visa, work permits are not so easy to come by. There are, uh, you know, difficulties that people do face. So it's always a good idea to have more time in hand. So STEM, I can't fo uh, focus enough uh, on the importance of having a STEM program. Uh, if you are worried about how long or how would you be able to continue living, working, studying in United States. Okay, so the first thing is Masters in Exercise Science. Now I took the same uh, pathway. Okay, so what I did was once I was done with my bachelor's, I applied for MS in, uh, I forgot the other universities, but I remember the one that I took. So I did a Masters in Exercise Science from Long Island University. Uh, it's in Brooklyn, New York. So that was a two year program, that was a STEM program. So I got uh, two years, um, I completed my master's in two years and then I had a three year OPT period, optic, uh, I don't know, I don't remember the full form, but it is practical training something. So you get, I got three years of OPT. I didn't use the full of it, but I had it. So that's the first pathway. Now the second pathway is that uh, people do uh, come uh, on the basis of TDPT. Now TDPT, it's a transitional DPT program. DPT meaning Doctorate of Physiotherapy or Doctorate in Physical Therapy. Okay, so transitional DPT means uh, that it's a shorter program. It's transitional. It's not the full DPT program. So in United States, there's no Masters in Physiotherapy. It, there's no such program right now. Uh, it was provided early on, but right now there is there is Bachelors and there is DPT. Okay, and even people usually combine and uh, study both of these programs if you are a student in the United States. So the thing is, an actual DPT, doc, uh, Doctor in Physiotherapy, is of three years. But if you take a transitional DPT, that's a shorter program because you already have your bachelor's degree, so you have certain you know uh, credentials already. The transitional DPT would be for you; it would be anywhere between. 14 to 18 months usually it's 16 month program but two months up here and there you could add it so the transitional dpt program would be uh, a shorter program 
you could do it offline or online depends on site depends what the university is providing Ashwarya is the one who compiled everything so that I could present it in this uh, perfect manner so thank you Ashwarya for that uh, so yes background. we were about okay so to work as a physiotherapist in United States you need to give the license exam that is NPTE once you clear NPTE you get the license you become a registered physiotherapist or a licensed physiotherapist now people what you should do is once you are done with your licensing then if you apply to TDPT it's usually an off-site program so you can do most of it online it's 16 months and most of the universities provide this so Arcadia or um, Toro or there are many universities that provide this so this is the general pathway but remember that TDPT is not a STEM program so you won't get the additional uh, two or three years of OPT that you are expecting in a you know in a master's program okay so that's that's TDPT so guys in terms of TDPT it's usually catered for physiotherapists who are already practicing who already have their license although I was looking up online I found one of those universities who provided for international students who just have bachelor's degree one of uh, one such university is University of Montana we are here on their page and this is the information that I got from here I just wanted to share it with you guys so you could do it online, uh, the TDPT program, they have the dates, they also have uh, what programs they offer for what, uh, depending on where you are coming from. So yeah, check that out. Uh, make sure that uh, you do realize that it's not a STEM program, so things would work a little bit differently than your masters, but again, all the best. And then DPT is a three year program. So let's say if you wanna go for a DPT, you can go for it it's a three-year program but it's very very expensive okay dpt is very expensive sometimes you do need uh, to you know give like interviews and competitive exams and whatever whatever the university requires so it's very competitive i don't know much about it i had one senior who was doing a dpt and uh, yeah that's that's about it i don't have much knowledge on it so that's the second pathway that's tdpt i have seen i uh, had i think i have i have known two people who who from India did TDPT and uh, I mean they took the admissions for TDPT and I think they are going to start the program this year so that's the second pathway our third pathway is PhD so very few people do it but people do it and uh, so what they do is let's say you are done with your bachelor's degree and you directly apply for a PhD uh, program you could apply there are many universities that are providing PhDs in rehabilitation science or physiotherapy whatever your field of preference is uh, so you can directly apply for a PhD it is competitive but it can be done so for PhD you'll have to do a lot of research on your end as to what suits your need uh, like you know what field you want to go to which professor you want to work under or what research is uh, you know what research have you done so far how would it match and things like that PhD if it is uh, you get funding that's a good thing because then if you get scholarships or funding then PhD could be anywhere from three years to five years depending on what sort of research that you do uh, if you get funding uh, the tuition costs go down and that's something that's that you really would want to go for other than that you can apply for PhD you can pay the full tuition but it's very expensive so these are the three pathways the first one was let's just revise okay <laughs> the first one was masters uh, that's the most common choice ms but make sure it's a uh, it's a stem program the second one is tdpt and the third option is that you could go for a phd so these are the three things that you you can do if you are uh, you know planning to come to united states do your research let me know if you have any other exciting pathways to come to united states uh, share your doubts with us share your experiences with us i hope that you get all that you want take care and i'll see you guys next time Okay guys, so if you like that video, do check out this video right here on how I cleared NPTE and that too in my first attempt. And if you are more interested, check this out why I left United States after I cleared the license exam, why did I come to Canada? So check it out.